around in, in this Boston based and not New York based. Nonetheless, um, Lucian is the inspiration for all of the work that we do. And just in addition to being an excellent physician, a wonderful human being, and the type of physician that you should all aspire to be because he has not lost touch with his humanity and it's evident in everything that he does and it will be evident when he speaks to you now. I don't want to intimidate David, but I have to confess that I've been married twice as long as he has. <laughs> and as, you, as we all know, that's in this day and age. I was asked to talk about the big picture on patient safety and quality of medical education. That's the, the title I was assigned. And um, so let's. Let's start with the really big picture. Um, what do you think of as the best measure of the advance of civilization? Uh, how are we now uh, better than we were 500 years ago or even 100 years ago? What comes to your mind? What would you say is the most important measure of progress of humankind over the last half millennium or so. What comes? What do you think of first? Technology. Technology. Wealth. Hmm? Wealth. 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 Okay. So the first thing that comes to mind, first thing that came to my mind when I asked myself this question, is material well-being. I mean, we are incredibly better off than people were. 500 years ago, or 100 years ago, or even 50 years ago, really. I mean, you know, in ancient times, uh, the first uh, the first thing that uh, any forming society did was to try to secure food, shelter, uh, clothing, and security. That's what tribes did, that's what the feudal barons did, and so forth. And it wasn't until this century that we were able to have a society that can, for example, feed itself with only two or three percent of the population. A couple hundred years ago, it was, I mean, when this country started, it was 80 percent of the people had to be farming. Now it's two or three percent, they mostly work for big companies, I guess. But anyway, uh, we've had an incredible improvement in material well-being, I mean, all the things we take care of. And that, of course, is what other countries envy about America thing they look to is our high standard of living. They want our TVs and our houses and cars and, and all that sort of stuff. So there's not much question that this is the first thing that comes to mind, but there are people that say maybe that's really not the most important measure of civilization. That maybe a more important measure is how we have managed to organize ourselves and relate to each other, and that maybe it really has to do with values. In this city, 200 and odd years ago, a very remarkable thing happened. Uh, a, a group of incredibly uh, well-informed, well-educated, well-motivated uh, people created a form of government like anything in, in the earth had ever seen. And there are a lot of us who think that's the reason we have our high standard of mature well-being, because our forefathers conceived of, and we have since developed, a society that has in it the institutions that make progress possible. As, as a result of the Enlightenment and the scientific revolution, we began to develop uh, science and technology which made our, well, many of these things of our well-being possible. But it's the institutions and the values in our society that made that flower. Uh, you take for granted 